So like, if you're asking me what I'm actually scared of, like in life, I'm scared of like mold. <laughs> <laughs> like actually terrified. Hi, Kayla. Hi. Hi. Shall we just start off what everyone wants to know? Like, how did it all begin? Well, it started with me uploading my client transformations on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And back in the day, Instagram was just photo caption. There was yeah. no business side to it or algorithms or anything like that. So I started doing that and people started following because they loved the immediate before and after. And we created an ebook myself and Toby and then created the app. That's long story short. For someone that I would say is inherently lazy, how would you make me get into that mindset like how can you change your mindset from thinking exercise is a chore to exercise is not just fun but just part of your life when i'm feeling lazy i will go for a walk on the treadmill but i'll watch my favorite tv show on my phone so i'm mm -hmm. doing something that i normally would do but i'm also exercising at the same time so find something that you like doing and then try and make that uh, combine it with exercise so yeah. watching tv shows walk on the treadmill at the same time. I can do that. You can do that. Yeah. I'm like, okay, <laughs> cool. Yeah. What are you watching at the moment? Watching Riverdale. <gasps> I yeah. love Riverdale so I've got much. i episode to go. How often do you actually work out? So I work out three times a week in terms of the high intensity sessions and the weight training sessions. And then every other day I'll walk. And then on Sunday or one day, Wednesday or whatever it is, I'll do nothing. And when you say walk, like what? So to be specific, on your treadmills, you have 4.0. Yeah. So I was saying six, because that's what it is in Australia, because it's mm -hmm. killing me. Anyway, so I walk on four at for half an hour. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I watch a TV show. So is walking to work, you know if people say, oh, would you say walking to work is is a legitimate form of exercise if you walk quickly? Yes, and if you have trainers on and your shoes are done up properly, you're actually walking at the same pace as you walk to work and you've got music on, you're not distracted, you're not stopping and you're not yeah. sitting down, or you're not having a coffee and talking to your friends. It's like you're actually on a mission with okay. your sneakers on, then yes. Have you made a lot of friends? You say obviously you're friends with people in your community, but have you made a lot of friends with other influencers or personal trainers that are on online or do you kind of just keep it, like you said, you've got your own yeah, family kinda, and friends? Yeah, I do. I, I kind of keep to myself. Like, I, I, seriously, if someone messages me and like, asks me for advice, I'll 100% message them back. Like, oh my God, this is so nice that you've messaged. I just like helping people. So whoever messaged me, so there's actually a blogger that messaged me today being like, where can I take my dog? Um, she was like, she's a big blogger. She's like, where can I take my dog in Adelaide? Because I'm going away. And I was like, give, give me your dog. So I'm going to look after her dog. Oh my, that's a whole separate business there. Eh? You've got another <laughs> franchise there. Eh? You could like set up your own doggy like, daycare. Things, I, I will help you if you message me, I will help you. But you'll regret saying that literally now. You're just gonna have like <laughs> thousands of thousands of DMs asking for like, <laughs> ask here. Are you a morning person? Yep, I get up really early. Yeah. What's a natural get up time for you? 6, 7 a.m. So I thought that's like really early. Yeah. Sometimes really, I get about yeah. 5.30, which is like, that's if I have to get up. Um, but yeah, 6 a.m., 7, I'm up and I'm, ready to, in the shower, ready to go. Have you always been like that? No, I used to sleep into two o'clock in the afternoon when I was younger. That gives us all hope. How, how did it change? So, well, we, I became a personal trainer. I changed my lifestyle. So I, that's, I'm talking about school holidays when I was yeah. in school. My mum used to knock on my door and be like, it is 1.30 in the afternoon, you need to get up. I when I was a growing kid, so I was yeah. like tired. But then again, I would go to bed at 2 o'clock in the morning, which I absolutely don't do now. So it's about resetting your lifestyle and your mindset. I mean, I guess this is where also your book comes in. Now, tell me about your book. How would you describe this? This is your second book, isn't it? Yes. So how would you describe to people, like, what's the difference between the first book and this book? So the first book is an introduction, just teaching women about overall food, health and fitness. It's a lot of recipe based. This one is more about motivation and habits. So my yeah. number one question was, how do you stay motivated? Yeah. Which everyone wants to know. And I sort of reversed it and said, well, what motivates you? And what are your bad habits and how can we get out of them? So that's what the book really focuses on. And food features a lot in here, which is, is good. And and it's all really fresh and colourful and amazing. Would you say you had to change your diet completely or are you one of those people that are like, actually I really like healthy food? I, I, I actually like healthy food, but I have, I eat a Mediterranean diet, yeah. I'm, I'm Greek. So I have um, a bit of everything and I try to teach women that, you know, things like carbs are not bad and you can have your fruit as well. I, I have, I eat everything. Yeah. So and that's why I try and teach women to eat. so it. good to know. Yeah. yeah, I know. I think people, yeah, people look at me and they think, oh, what foods do you cut out and yeah. how much do you exercise? And I really just exercise three times a week for 30 minutes and I eat a healthy, balanced diet. 
it's I mean, everyone actually, listen up, it's possible. It is, and it's yeah. not that hard. It's yeah. really, it's, we overcomplicate things as women and it's really hard in the media. We see so many things. So many, yeah. yeah. January is a month that Google search, I know, literally flies with people going, how do you get fit? Like, simple hacks to get fit, like, how to lose, you know, the Christmas weight, whatever. Is there one or two simple places to start that would actually help someone? Yeah, so writing down your goals and actually being realistic with them. So what we do is we write down goals like get fit, save money, like do this. Yeah. We actually don't write down how we're going to get there. So it's like, right, actually write down your goals, right? get fit, gym membership, price, what time I'm going to go to the gym, when I'm going to go to the gym, how am I going to fit that in, how am I going to fit that in around work? And actually full circle do that. And you can do that with everything and that will help your life so much. It'll be so much easier for you to get to those goals instead of just writing get fit. That's so true, it's such an abstract thing to say, get fit, all right. Get fit, save money. Save How? money, how? <laughs> yeah, give me some. You look like you've got it pretty much sussed, but is there anything you're scared of yourself or anything that you regret or are you quite a positive person and you're just like, you just need to sort of move forward? Uh, I'm, I'm a pretty positive person. Like I think like a little bit, like things that like, for, in terms of business, like a little bit of research into how an app works when yeah, we're, that like, helps. like that like <laughs> things like it, that was more like that's me and Toby as a team but like we really wanted to push things out at the beginning you know our community wanted this so we wanted to give them this and it was a little bit more time and just hold on one second let's try and do this you know 100% um, so that's probably one thing so, like, if you ask me what I'm actually scared of like in life I'm scared of like mold <laughs> Like actually terrified. I'm what is terrified. It like in like household mold? No, I'm just... so scared. I am so frightened. I will not. I'm so I'm like frightened. literally. Say if in a bathroom of oh, mold. I know. No, I will. I... Oh, so you're lucky that you live in Australia because I don't think they have it here. Awful condensation on windows, mold. No, Rented houses, mold. No, no, no. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I'm actually scared of coral as well. Like as in from the sea. Because it looks like mold. Are you a clean freak? Yes, I am. Oh, do you always clean? Like, is your I house love spotless? love cleaning. I will clean anything. I will come to your house and clean it. People say, oh, you know. I was going to say, cool. So someone yeah. has called me out. Someone will be like, you can come to my house and help me clean. And I actually did. Oh, my God. I actually Again, house. so that's another thing you can add. So you've got your doggy daycare <laughs> and you've got cleaning. I would I would be a cleaner. If I was not, I, that's, people like, think I'm joking. If I wasn't a personal trainer, I would clean houses because I love it so much. But would you be able to clean the mold if you were afraid of it? Yes, if I, if I had a like if I had a product that got rid of it, yes. Okay. Or no, I don't know. Okay. Depends how much mold. How much <laughs> Why mold? are we talking yeah, like, about mold? I know. Thank, thank you, you so thank much. Thank you so much.